Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to a very special, very, very live tech version of Strange Love. I'm joined, as always, by my husband and co-host and button pusher, Mr. Chaos, Dr. Hello. Norman. And this time, actually in the studio, we have Miss Burroughs and Martin. <laughs> Hello, everyone. The big brains behind Treasurelicious. Treasurelicious. If we run out of things to say, we can just go up to Treasurelicious and talk about things that people treasure. Oh. Believe it or not, I actually have a list of a couple of interesting things that people have treasured. Ooh, see, Martin has come prepared with a oh, list of information. There you go, trying to make our podcast interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Have you listened to the podcast? Yes, I have. I've been a, a loyal listener, actually, and I've noticed that we've been sponsoring the yeah. Strange Love podcast as well, which I'm, I'm very proud to have done. Mm -hmm. You need to speak to your accounting department. Yes, absolutely. Oh, no, no. The accounting department took me out for a lovely lunch today. Oh, okay. Yes. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the sponsorship. <laughs> and I got a tiny bit of cheese <laughs> from that lunch. Like, oh, yeah, here's a little bit of the rind of this lovely cheese we had. It was our least favorite of the three. Yeah. Did you, you tell know, them how long it was in your purse? <laughs> no. Oh, my. Yeah, but it's cheese. It's gets better with age, right? The, the technical talent is never quite as much appreciated as the as the glitzy, glamorous, you know, being out there. Kind Spokes of. lady. That's right. I appreciate That's you, right. baby. PR. Spokes for. <laughs> Spoken yeah, as yeah. a true developer. Yeah. That's right. So, yes. first, let's talk about treasure Treasurelicious. I, I have a question about treasure Treasurelicious. What the heck is treasure? No, no, no. Before we talk <laughs> about what it is, I want to know where it came from. Where did the ID for treasure Treasurelicious come from? My little brain, I guess. I had started blogging, and I wanted something to pop into my sidebar that would show things I really liked with a little picture and a link, because I would constantly have people in real life, non-blogging life, ask me, you know, where did you get that, I don't know, X, Y, Z. And I was tired of telling people mm -hmm. where it was, how to get it. Where it came from. Thank you, yes. Mm -hmm. Both. Oh, all of those. And I was looking around. I was, you know, new at blogging. So I was looking around at different widgets you could pop in your sidebar. And I couldn't find anything like it. So <laughs> I went next door. <laughs> five feet away to Martin's office. Mm -hmm. And I said, honey, can you make this for me? Because you're such a big, strong, smart programmer who's been programming since you were 12. Could you make this for me, please? So we pulled out the whiteboards and wrote on them with the markers until we got headaches from the expo markers. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's how, that's how it was born. Oh, and I said, we said that since I liked it so much, other people would probably like it too. So yeah. why... You know, keep it to myself. Why be greedy and selfish? More than usual. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's the story of Treasurelicious. And what exactly does it do? Treasurelicious is a widget that lets you list your treasures with a picture and description and a link. And then you can put it into your MySpace page, your Facebook page, or any of a number of blogging platforms. Hold on a second. I think Martin might be able to tell us some of the blogging platforms that you can actually use. Is it somewhere on your paper there? Oh, you know, I didn't write that down, actually. But on the on the front page of Treasurelicious, <laughs> there now is a, a listing of all the different icons um, that correspond to the different sites that you can use it on. So Leah pulled that together. Um, since we one of the features we recently released was a, a Flash widget, which is useful on a lot of other different sites, like MySpace, for example, and which didn't cute. allow... Yeah, which didn't allow the, the JavaScript widget to show up. So that's allowed us to reach out to a lot of other different platforms, basically. So either on the landing page or when you actually log into your account and you click on the widget link up at the top, it'll show you the different choices where you can use the Treasurelicious widget now. You can also click on Help, which is on the main page. And that's right. if you go in a little bit, there'll be instructions for 
11 or 12 different platforms on how to pop the widget into your platform. I can tell you the soup.io, Vox, MySpace, Facebook, <laughs> the Tumblr, Blogger, as well. Tumblr. Yeah. MySpace, too. Yeah, MySpace. She said that, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so so one of the things that we're really excited about and that we've seen a lot from the people who are using it currently is it's really an additional way for people to communicate with each other, to tell each other about what they care about, what they treasure, what's important to them in their lives. And it, it adds, it rounds out their sort of social profile that they have online to show each other what, what they're interested in. It sparks communication between the different people, lets them chat with each other about what, they, what they're interested in. And um, that's actually something that we added recently that we're really, really excited about is an integration with Twitter. Have we, you heard of Twitter? That's right. So Twitter. So, what is, is it? Twitter? I, I know. <laughs> it's it's Leah's fault actually because yes. she ended up getting me addicted to Twitter as well. So I'm I'm part of the Twitterverse in Portland now. And so we we ended up adding support for Twitter where you can put your Twitter name, uh, associate that with your Treasurelicious account, basically and allow your friends then to comment on your treasures through Twitter, sort of get the conversation flowing about things that you have out in your list of treasures. So if you go to Leah's blog, for example, and you see something on her list of treasures that you think is really cool, you can click the link to Twitter and can send her a message through Twitter to say, hey, I really like what you, what you have in your list there. It's something that I've always wanted as well. And it goes beyond just leaving a comment on a blog, because as with as you know with Twitter, it broadcasts it everywhere. It opens up the conversation. It actually broadcasts it everywhere, yeah. and then there's a link to your treasure, mm -hmm. and then people will go look at your treasure, and then usually you put a link to your blog in your Treasurelicious account, and then they find your blog. That's so true. So it makes it even bigger. It's good for you good. to use Treasurelicious. It's good. It gets your name out there. That's right. It's free advertising for your blog. That's what I'm saying. Or MySpace page or Facebook account. You really do people advertise their MySpace pages? Sure. People want people to go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I get. Well, some of them do. I know somebody who could benefit from putting Treasurelicious <laughs> on their MySpace account. Right. Say they're, a musician, maybe hmm. a good friend. Of, hmm. You know. Yes. Um, I wish I knew about this person. Yeah. Hmm. Does he do CDs? He does do CDs. He does. He could put his CDs on Treasure Delicious. Oh, so for gosh. those of you who are not quite in the know, <laughs> um, we, Leah and I, were actually very seriously thinking of boycotting tonight's show after hearing that Dr. Normal, our own Mr. Chaos, has still not signed up for his own Treasure Delicious account. Or even Open ID. I or suck. even Open ID. I'm going to kick him out of bed soon. Epic fail. <laughs> Sucks. So, so yes, he is one of those uh, musicians who has a MySpace page and has several treasures that he could actually benefit from from uh, using Treasurelicious for and telling people about. So, in, in my defense, that MySpace page and the uh, and the CD and all that stuff, just like all the new stuff, just went up there like in the last two weeks. So. And he doesn't know how to work MySpace anyway. Oh God, who does? So one of the I things hate social networking. <laughs> But you're a musician, you have to have a MySpace page. So obviously you have to have a trick. Musicians love to talk about their equipment. So how shiny I, I it would, is for and example, how many knobs maybe it put has? these knobs red congas over here that are sitting next to us in the studio. That you can't see. Delicious. Drums. They're drums. They're congas and bongos. They're not WordPress. Just, they're not just any drums. Live journal. I just remembered those two. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Good, yeah. good. Thank, Thank you. So pretty much everything. You can put treasure licious, treasure licious, the widget on anything. No, no, and everything. not treasure licious. Treasure licious. I said that. That's awesome. You can also call it tea lish. Mm -hmm. I like tea lish. I really like tea lish. So That's if I go to tea lish dot com, I'll take you yep. to the right place. T l i s h s h dot com. Yep. I'll be on treasure licious, which somewhere. is a lot easier to spell and That's remember. Right. Yes. That's a lot shorter for Twitter as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So one of the things that, that we did, though, that will help Dr. Normal get set up as well, is we made Treasure Delicious really, really easy to get started with and to get into. So um, a lot of Gun people... Gunfighter. I'm so sorry. No, this is good. urgent Go information. Ahead. Gunfighter is now on Treasure Delicious. Woohoo! I'll, I'll have to add him. I, I have a little roll call of, of recent additions to, to Treasure Delicious that I'll go through after, so I'll, I'll be sure to add him to that as well. 
So, Welcome. so one of the things that we tried to do, and hopefully Gunfighter had that same experience, is that we tried to make it really, really easy to get started with Treasure Licious. Um, one of the things that we're really excited about is this whole movement toward having logins that are not uh, all over the place anymore in a million different social networking sites, but instead in a, in a centralized place to let users take control of their online identity and control how they present themselves to the world. And OpenID certainly is one of the technologies that accomplishes that. So treasurelicious.com lets you log in with an open ID and sets up an account for you automatically if you hadn't signed in yet. And there's no additional registration that you have to go through. As soon as you log in with your open ID, you have a Treasurelicious account, you can start adding treasures to it, you can start broadcasting that information through the widget. Um, that was one of the things that was really, really important to us. It's a, it's a central feature of the application. It's not something that we just pasted on, but it's something that is, is an integral part of the app. It's, it's required. It's the only way that, that you can use Treasurelicious through, through an OpenID account. And we're very excited to have that in place and, and be part of the. So open. when I go up and do Treasurelicious, I don't have to go get a scrap of paper That's and write right. down www.treasurelicious.com ID. That's right. Dr. Normal. That's right. You just have password, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then lose that piece of paper and then have, you know, treasures from, you know, six years ago sitting there and going, I don't know how to change my treasures exactly. because mm -hmm. I can't remember the login anymore. So I think, yeah, OpenID and Blogger supports OpenID now. And mm -hmm. so you guys are just really pushing the OpenID solution. Yeah, we're very excited about it. One login. I have to for say everything. that, and this is almost blasphemy, but I didn't learn about OpenID until I went to sign up for a Treasure Delicious account. That is I, how I learned about OpenID, and it made me then go and examine the whole OpenID thing and look around and try to figure out all the different sites that had OpenID. Because the first thing I did was I found the first thing on the list and said, oh, I've got this account that I tried out. Okay, I'll grab that. And then when I realized how convenient the open id could be i then had to go and change over to one that i was actually comfortable using on a regular basis but yeah i had yeah. no idea what open id was in, until i started using twish so one of the things that we changed actually relatively recently within the last three weeks is we added this awesome um uh, it, it's selector. sort of like a widget basically the id selector from the awesome guys here in town actually jan portland Rain. jan rain and um, we added that to the landing page of treasurelicious.com. When you go in now and you're near the sort of login area and you click into the login field, a little window pops up that shows you all the different sites that currently are OpenID providers. So those are the people that give you your OpenID identity. And what a lot of people find out is that unknowingly they already have an OpenID. So many of the sites they're already a part of support open id as a provider so if you have a live journal account for example i believe that that's an open id provider if you have an aol account they're open id providers so uh, that that widget from jan rain the id selector makes that a little bit more obvious and makes it easier for people to get started so more about the treasures hmm. yes it, well i have a question first. oh i'm sorry before we get into the treasures... You had that vacant look like you didn't have a question. No, I was <laughs> absorbing the information that Martin gave me. She needs some cherry coke. Yeah. I do, I need some... Need Which some is one coke. of the treasures, by the way. <laughs> cherry the, coke the, is the one of my treasures. <laughs> <laughs> it really is, yeah. Well, you know, I'm going to interrupt you for a second. Uh -huh. Another thing I like to do with my list is put in things that I really like mm -hmm. as gifts. Mm -hmm. So, and I tag them, actually, as lust. You can tag them whenever you want. Mm-hmm. So that if anyone's looking to get me something, like I would know in an instant that I should bring you cupcakes or cherry coke mm. because I've learned about you through your list. Mm -hmm. And people who want to make me happy, anyone, can get me the sugar scrub or the milk of chocolate that I have in my list. Mm. Yeah, I, I went the more conventional route and actually tagged it as wish list. Maybe I should make a wish list on my Treasure Licious because so far I only have things on my Treasure Licious that I have, except for the cupcakes, which occasionally I run out of. <laughs> Not for long. You can no. ask the question, though. No, the I'm question sorry. is where are you guys going with Treasure Licious? Martin? Oh, I think in general, it, it's just a fun project. It's something that, you know, we're really excited about, we're having a lot of fun with and that we just wanted to put out there and, and see how it does. So there are no no big plans to take over the world. I know Cammy is scheming on that anyway. So um, Always. 
I know. So we don't <laughs> want to compete with that. Um, it's mostly for fun. And I think one of the things that we've seen, though, in, in the way people use Treasure Delicious as well, is that it really runs the gamut for from what people consider to be um, things that they treasure. Uh, people starting to use it as wish lists, for example, that was something that originally we hadn't planned on. It's it's we're we're not trying to constrain it to something in particular. We want for people to be able to use it the way that they want to, and just have fun with it. Basically, it's just another way for them to communicate. When we started, we really thought it would be iPhones and laptops and Xboxes, and it's actually been a huge variety of things that are both amusing and interesting and and just fascinating to see anything in particular martin you'd like to talk about oh i just i just pulled out a couple of interesting ones our our own host cami chaos you know is a is a long time user of treasure delicious she is she's a veteran that's right she lists her back tattoo for example one of the ones that i thought was interesting was the 2008 oregon primary ballot you know that was something that we would have never guessed anyone would put into the treasure delicious list and it's awesome that you did i noticed as well by the way dr normal she i think she has a thing for you mm. she seems to like you because you actually show up twice in her list of treasures you show up huh? as doc normal what? and mr chaos no. i don't know if cammy chaos knew that i did know that i did and okay. it was you know it was kind of on purpose because he is sometimes Mr. Chaos, my darling husband, and sometimes he's Dr. Normal, my amazing button pusher and musician husband. So, yeah, he's yeah. You mentioned that twice though in the in the list of treasures. So yeah, I'm yeah. gonna interrupt for one second. I like second. him a lot. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I wanted to make sure everyone knows that the way they get something into their list, like a picture, you can either take the picture yourself of something that you own, mm-hmm. and you upload it to a photo sharing site like Flickr mm-hmm. and uh, or you take the URL from we take a lot from Amazon.com mm-hmm. just because they have nice pictures uh, or any other sort of shopping site that has that sort of thing so so it doesn't have to be it can be anything really anything you can get a picture of mm-hmm. so it, just as long as you can link to the picture exactly the URL exactly which means you can post it yourself I've posted things on my blog and then mm-hmm. later um, use them on my teenage list. Yeah. So, so again, uh, that whole concept that we didn't want to restrict people to only certain things. We didn't want this to be some, you know, just just like it has to be an Amazon for it to show up. We right. wanted for you to be able to use anything. And a lot of people have put really interesting stuff in. Um, your cousin, I think, Mialiki. I'm sorry, I just butchered the I. name. Okay. Uh, you know, put in sunshine for example, mm-hmm. and put up a picture of a of a sun, which I think is just awesome. Uh, certainly we here in Portland can appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And we do have some tech toys, you know, Verso put in her palm, which I know Dr. Normal loves as well and probably still is sad over. Traitor. Airock put in his chumby, which I actually saw at a a a convention. Oh, I want to see one of those. Yeah, it's like a super high-tech alarm clock thing. And I'm probably totally belittling the awesomeness that it really is. And then Ruffles and Ridges, one of our newer members, put in Hi, the Kitty. short bus, which I think actually is a person. It's her son. Yeah. 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 That's what I thought. But I thought it was interesting. And um, yeah, somebody who is our highest who's hot user consistently mm-hmm. on our list. He's got his uh, iPod Classic and a uh, Logitech keyboard in. Then Media Chick has a very interesting treasure for anybody who wants to who uh, check it out. Divine Intervention Sex Toys. Mm-hmm. It's it's quite the site actually that it links to, and uh, you know Jim Goings has has the Firefly DVD movie on there, which is awesome. Don Park has a sailboat up, so again all sorts of different treasures that really run the gamut from uh, from things that are very commercial to things that are just ideas and people and. Are these lists all? So if I go up, are they all public or private yep. or yep. just just? You're sharing them with everybody. Yep. Everything is public. We don't... One of the things that we wanted to make sure about the site was that it was very, very simple to use. We didn't want a ton of extra controls in there to to restrict how you do, um, how you communicate with people. So it's all public. You can search out anybody's site. Uh, the landing page of treasurelicious.com has two new areas now, the latest treasures and the who's hot list that sh- sort of shows up what the uh, shows off what the latest treasures are that anybody has added in the entire Treasurelicious universe. 
and then the people that get the uh, that that are hot accounts basically uh, that get a lot of traffic that get a lot of people looking at it i see some hot people mm. that's right i see a couple of hot people mm. that's right that's right yeah our, our host still, oh wait very quickly i have a listener question though oh um gunfighter wants to know what the deal is with type pad because he says type pad doesn't seem to be on board is that true type pad is there a type pad issue I'm trying to remember. That's right. Yeah, Ms. Burroughs has been in charge of, of looking at the different platforms. So in general, as long as the platform supports either a JavaScript widget or a Flash widget, you should be fine. And if not, uh, one of the other platforms, uh, WordPress.com, for example, is very, very restrictive. Right. If you host it through WordPress with what you can do. However, one of the things that allows you to do is to show an RSS feed in your blog. So what you can do as well is to grab the feed from treasurelicious.com and show that on your on your blog. It's not as snazzy as the widget because it cuts out all the images and it's not as as organized as the widget would be, but it still lets you put your treasures into your blog. So that could be a fallback for him as well. A lot of the blog sites allow that. I'm trying to remember. One of them, I think it might be TypePad. You have they're very restrictive with the widgets and you have to submit it to them. For approval, or is that? Do you support Facebook? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So face. Oh, yeah. Wow. Through the well, Gunfighter widget. could then. Okay. Gunfighter, you could then put it on your Facebook well, account. We're, if you we're working to. on the the type pad. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think they're really restrictive. So RSS. So minute. you can subscribe to someone's Treasurelicious feed. You can. And so you could see their treasures popping up in their Google Reader, and then you can click on them and actually go to. The actual that's right treasure. yeah you can you can sort of keep tabs on on what your friends are adding to their lists what they're updating uh, things that are just happening with with uh, your friends in, in terms of things that they treasure yeah, and everything now I mean if you don't implement RSS in something you're just not there right so I mean everything from little devices and widgets just continue to implement RSS so yeah it's just an awesome way to to be able to, to find things. Yeah, again, our goal is to let people communicate with each other and, and sort of talk about the things that they really care about. So whatever we can do to enable that, different different ways of consuming that information, we're, we're looking at implementing, and feed certainly is, is one of the ways that seems to work out really well. I have awesome. another listener question. Yes. Uh, Media Chick wants a Firefox plugin. Yeah, so... and so use and, the RSS. Well, and I think... Uh, Mita Chick had talked with Miss Burroughs about that actually, and I and I think what she's hoping for is something to make it easier to add treasures mm. to the list of treasures, like a delicious plugin or something. Yeah, like that. and yeah. and that's definitely something that we're looking at. So so a couple of the new features uh, we're we're looking at implementing actually focus around making it easier to add treasures to your list. One of the things that um, that we thought was interesting is to plug into some of the existing databases. That, that are out there, like an Amazon.com, for example, to make it easier to search out the information and have it pop into your list. Uh, and then certainly something like being able to go to any website out there and grab information from the site as, as something that you treasure is something that we're looking at doing as well. Because we're recording you know, very basic information only, for now, I'm hoping people will stick with with using the interface as we have it, but know that it is something that we're looking at. Shall we talk about tags for a moment? Sure. Because they're very interesting. The tagging part of Treasurelicious is that you get to tag your different treasures. So, for example, I have a couple different ca- categories that I use. Hypothetically, say you have four different blogs, and one of them is about shoes, and one of them is about airplanes and one about is about I don't know food and we'll go with three blogs <laughs> too many examples you can have a different widget on each one of those blogs because you've used a different tag for each one of those blogs you don't have to have a separate account and yep and the same thing goes for feeds actually those right. are filtered by the tag as well and uh, one of the things we implemented to hopefully make it easier to manage those tags as well is uh, it's it's one of the more hidden features of Treasurelicious, but it comes in really handy when you need it. It's very sexy. Yeah, when you go in and you log into your Treasurelicious account, and let's say you had two tags that are kind of similar, and you didn't pay attention when you first tagged your treasures, but you've got 20 treasures tagged with 
vacation and 15 treasures tagged with vacations and you want to make them all the same there's actually a tag rename feature in there and a tag delete feature as well that can apply that globally to all of the different treasures that are tagged that so again we're, we're just trying to make it easier for people to to use tags and and help them manage their communications in their list of treasures that way another awesome thing about treasure delicious is for us bloggers many times you know you you get something new, like a new pair of shoes or something, take a picture, you put it into your blog post, but then you keep blogging and eventually it just goes into your archives and no one sees it anymore. With the with Treasure Licious, you can put that picture of your awesome new heels right into the sidebar so that everyone sees it every time they hit your blog. Do you guys want some more listener input real quick? Oh please. We'd love some. We love input. Don P Don P says the T list site could use some web 2.0 slash apple style gradients yeah so that's something actually that um a friend of ours michael sigler approached us about as well to to talk about sort of the the design and and how the site looks and one of the things that we certainly have done with with treasurelicious is to use sort of the the we we tried to do things in a in a nice clean easy way our focus wasn't necessarily to make it the glitziest, most glamorous site, but instead make it usable for you. We figure, you know, while we, we like having you around, you probably want to pop in and out. You want to go in, list your treasures, and where it really matters is, you know, have, have it be displayed in your blog, for example. Have it be displayed in your, in your MySpace page. Uh, so it, it's absolutely true. We didn't spend a lot of time on on the look and feel. We didn't give that a lot of love. I'm horrible at uh, at graphics design. So it's something again we're looking at. Um, the The website does use quite a bit of of Web 2.0e technology. It's it's you know AJAX with a lot of JavaScript in the background to make it really quick and fast for you to to maintain your lists. You don't jump around from page to page, and and it. It tries to really make it easy for you to to keep your list up to date. What's the future for Treasure Licious? I mean, where, what kind of features or what kind of things are you looking at just in in general? So if you haven't already answered that since I've not paid attention and pushing I, buttons. I was just going to ask him to start the reading the paper to us, but oh no no no, that's <laughs> that's definitely a valid question. So I think one of the things we're really excited about is to see you know, more people end up talking with each other and get really excited about Treasure Licious. So making it a community, more of a community-based kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, so... so and people letting, love to talk about their stuff. Exactly. Right? And, and, and it's been just fantastic for us watching that sort of interaction that we've seen once we put the Twitter integration in as well to start seeing people actually talk with each other directly about their treasures. So that's something that we want to build out more. We want to let more people know about treasure listers, want to let people um, use it more on their networking sites and, and make sure that we support them in, in whatever whatever they need to make that happen basically so if you could have like a community with people talking to each other about their treasures in tunelets that would just be a coup right it absolutely. would be awesome That'd absolutely be so we're very <laughs> excited about you know making it as easy as possible to let people use that information with their existing social networking sites we don't want to be yet another social network that you have to sign up with and and get hooked up with friends with because we figure you have that already you you know there's so many sites out there that you're already on so we want to plug into as many of those communities as as you're already a part of so whatever features we need to build to make that real easy for you that that's something that we'll definitely work on cool yeah. In the meantime, I wanted to give a shout out to our latest, I think it's it's four accounts now. So Ruffles and Ridges, who's already been mentioned. Air Rock, who, uh, who's really awesome. He helped us with uh, a couple of things actually on the site that he sent us input as well. And, and we were really excited about. At Ikea. I believe he Ooh, does. Yes. Ikea. When, we need to have an Ikea date. I know. Okay, Media sorry. Chick. Hi, Media Chick. And Gunfighter now. Thanks for signing up. We're very excited to have you. So... It's been really great to see a lot of people, you know, be interested in it and, and really find value in it and, and have them start chatting with their friends about the things that they care about. So that's been really exciting. It's all about the love. That's right. Can I just talk about the Lunch with Leah program real quick? Oh, please do. Oh, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Lunch with Leah program. I see. Oh, now you perk up. <laughs> <laughs> well, because well, I didn't get my damn Lunch with Leah pro Oh, never mind. Uh, you haven't gotten three people to sign up and you sure haven't signed up yourself. So you're not. Eligible. 
Yeah, so Cammy just gave that away. Uh, Sorry. The way it works is I'm that... I'm so excited. You get three of your friends to sign up for Treasure Licious, and they have to vouch that you sign. You got them to sign up somehow. You can pay them or whatever. <laughs> I will take you out to lunch in the in the immediate area. If you're somewhere else, like, I don't know, Wales, we'll figure something out. Cammy Chaos actually was number one. She's gotten quite a few people signed up now. And I had lunch with Leah. She, she did. It was lovely. It was. And I have another one next week with... Lauren, Dream Tattoo. Dream Tattoo, that's right. And uh, I don't want to eat alone, so... Yeah. Let me know. She doesn't like eating alone at set. She it's cries and cries and cries. Yes, yes. And uh, if you go to arandproud.blogspot.com, you can find my email address there because I'm not going to broadcast it. Yeah, again... We're we're really thankful to be on your program, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's been it's been great. And we're very excited about people signing up and uh, and just using it and letting letting us know what they think about it and what we can do to improve. And and I have stickers. That's right, Leah. Stickers. Ask me for stickers. And oh, everyone see the stickers it on her laptop. I don't think right. they can see the sticker very well. Oh well, I think we're getting. Is this the uh, orchestra? Treasure delicious. The stickers. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. Is this the get off the stage music? Well, I, I, think, I, I think I think I hear is. the band playing and uh, We'd like to thank we'd Strange like to Love thank. and Kim Chaos and Dr. Normal and our parents and the Academy and um, Blogger and um, um, And thanks for being here. Thanks for talking about Treasure Licious. It's another one of those hot awesome Portland apps or apps that are or everything good happens in Portland everything good happens in Portland <laughs> yeah we're gonna go back to Vancouver now yeah. oh yeah that's right you're from Vancouver. <laughs> tuck your tail between your legs and run back to the coop lady <laughs> Vancouver <laughs> well that's how we do it in the show we like to insult the guests and where they live before we kick them off the show. <laughs> yes, into the rain. Have you heard the podcast? <laughs> Good night, everybody. Would you like to be a guest? Thank you. Good night. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye.